Much as Canada's gotten a bit of buzz in recent years, but there are still a ton of myths about Canada floating about. Ask any Canadian who has traveled abroad, it seems the farther we go from home, the weirder the questions we get about what life is really like here. So let's set the record straight about those Canadian myths. 1. It's always cold. Yes, Canadians own shorts and tank tops, go swimming outside, and even enjoy weather in the high 80s. It just isn't all year round. With weather patterns similar to New York in cities like Toronto, Canada has four distinct seasons that are characterized by the appropriate weather. During the winter months, it can get bone-chillingly cold, true. But during the summer, and sometimes spring and fall, it's breezy, hot, humid, and gorgeous outside. Some provinces, in fact, rarely get snow while others get clobbered with 10 or more inches multiple times through the winter. It all depends, but anywhere you go, at least through July and August, the weather is sunny and time to break out the flip-flops. 2. Free health care. It is true that Canadians don't have to pay to go see a family doctor or for a visit to the emergency room. If a woman gives birth, she doesn't pay for that either, nor do you pay if you need surgery of some kind, a cast for a broken arm, or some stitches. But Canadians do actually pay via money that is deducted from their paychecks to go toward this public fund. And depending on private or employee health plans, Canadians might also have to pay, in full or part, for things like prescription drugs, dental appointments and work, eyeglasses and eye doctor appointments, and other healthcare-related services. 3. Canada as part of the United States No, Canada is not the 51st state in America. Canada is its own, completely independent country. And while there is a lot of trade that goes back and forth between the countries, and historically, Canada and the US have had a good relationship as allies, Canada is not part of America. Well, technically North America, but not the United States of America. Canada has its own government, prime minister, and is actually a parliamentary democracy and constitutional monarchy in the Westminster traditional. So while the American president is not the Canadian president, the queen is indeed their queen. 4. Everyone loves hockey. Canada's national sport is hockey in the winter, and lacrosse in the summer. And while many Canadians are fierce supporters of their hometown hockey teams, not every Canadian loves, follows, or even watches hockey. In fact, some Canadians are into basketball, football, soccer, and other popular sports instead. So when you meet a Canadian and want to talk sports, try asking them what sports they watch first, or if they even watch hockey, before assuming they must. 5. The only police are Mounties. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police is the federal and national police service in Canada that covers provincial policing in eight of the ten provinces and local policing in the three territories but they don't all wear those red uniforms and wide-brimmed hats. Nor do they all ride horses. In Ontario, they have the Ontario Provincial Police and in Quebec, the Surette de Quebec, both of which wear standard police uniforms. The RCMP is sort of the equivalent of the FBI in the US they don't all wear suits and ties, but some of them do. 6. The capital is Toronto. Since Toronto is the most well-known city in Canada, many wrongfully believe that it is the nation's capital. But prepare to have your mind blown, it isn't. The capital is actually Ottawa, which is more than 200 miles east of Toronto, standing on the south bank of the Ottawa River. With a population of just over a million, Ottawa, Ontario is the fourth largest city in Canada. And it's where Parliament Hill, the Canadian equivalent to the White House, resides, along with other tourist attraction like the National War Memorial in the National Gallery of Canada. 7. Canadians drive on the left side of the road. Since we've, mostly, established in the last point that Canada isn't part of the UK, I'll make this one short, people in Canada drive on the right side of the road. 8. Canada doesn't have guns. This one is way off. Canada has lots of guns. According to the 2014 Small Arms Survey, Canada ranks 13th in the world with 30.8 guns per 100 residents. The United States is one with 90 guns per 100 residents. 9. There are moose and bears everywhere. There might be, but Canada is so big, and mostly wilderness, so they have tons of places to hide, and they do it well. Some Canadians have never even laid eyes on a moose or a bear in the wild. And newsflash, bears sleep all winter. So if the thought of free roaming bears creeps you out, winter is an excellent time to visit Canada because most of our bears, grizzlies, black bears, brown bears, they're all asleep all winter. 
some of our other iconic critters don't hit the hay for the season and you can still spot moose, beavers, wolves, foxes and wildcats like cougars and lynx if you're lucky. 10. Everyone eats poutine. Admittedly, poutine is awesome. It's a dish that consists of French fries, cheese curds, and thick gravy. Sometimes it might have additional items like pulled pork or chicken, green peas, bacon, and other goodies. Poutine is pretty commonly found within Canada, even served up at chain restaurants like Swiss Chalet and KFC. But it is an indulgent dish and not one you'd find on every menu, nor is it something every Canadian likes or eats all the time. So have you ever thought these things were true before? By now you must have realized that these facts are untrue. So what do you think about this video?